Hi guys and welcome to another Trav tutorial. Today we are talking about Google Calendar and Google Meet synchronization. Trav's integration with Google Calendar allows the synchronization of your work hours, preventing double bookings between your professional and personal schedules. Traft seamlessly adds all appointments to your Google Calendar, and any time slots marked as busy in your Google Calendar become unavailable for booking in Traft. To activate and set up this Google Calendar sync, follow these steps. Navigate to the Features and Integrations page and locate the Google Calendar and Google Meet integration under Integrations. Activate it and click the Configure button. Click Connect Account to link your Google account. Grant Traft permission to access your calendar and manage events. You will be redirected back to Traft after authorization. Now scroll down to see your configuration options. If you want your appointments with the pending status to be included in your Google Calendar alongside approved ones, enable the Insert Pending Appointments option. If you want to see customers who booked the appointment in the Google Calendar event, enable the Add Events Attendees option. This could be especially useful if you offer group bookings. Enable the option for customers to view other attendees of your group appointments if you wish to include this information in the appointment added to their Google Calendar. If you want all the participants to receive Google invitations along with Traft notifications, Enable the Send Event Invitation email option. To prevent slots marked as busy in Google Calendar from being booked in Traft, enable the Remove Google Calendar Busy Slots option. The option to include buffer time in Google Events allows you to specify whether employees can see buffer time before and or after appointments. Finally, enable the Google Meet integration to automatically add Google Meet links to appointments for online sessions. Appointments for employees with connected Google accounts will automatically feature the option for online meetings, with the corresponding Google Meet link seamlessly incorporated into their Google Calendar entries. Ensure employees are connected to an offline location before enabling Google Meet to preserve previous offline appointments. Moving on to the event title and the event description. Here you can tailor the event title and description displayed within your Google Calendar events by selecting the desired information from the drop-downs below the field. At the bottom of the Google Calendar configuration settings, you'll find a list of your current employees. You have several options here. If your employees share a workspace or have a single set of equipment and you want to make them all unavailable when one is booked, select the same calendar for each employee. Let me illustrate this with an example. All my employees are connected to the same Google Calendar. I'll also ensure to enable Remove Google Calendar Busy Slots option since I want to prevent slots marked as busy in Google Calendar from being booked in Traft. Firstly, I'll schedule an appointment with employee Jane Doe, let's say on Friday at 11 a.m. If I attempt to book another appointment with a different employee at the same time, you'll notice that the time slot doesn't appear in the booking form. It's unavailable because all employees are connected to the same Google Calendar. On the contrary, if you prefer your employees to have separate calendars, here's what you should do. Open Google Calendar and create an individual calendar for each employee. Then return to Traft and use the drop-downs to assign these calendars to the corresponding employees. Now, each employee has their own calendar and can be booked independently of the other's availability. Every employee can link their own Google Calendar account. Before demonstrating how, it's important to note that to connect their calendar, an administrator must ensure that the employee doesn't already have a calendar assigned on the Google Calendar configuration page. Now, let's consider an example. I am Jane Doe, an employee, and I wish to connect my calendar. I'll log in into my employee account. Click on my name in the upper right corner and access Account Settings. Navigating to the Integrations page, I'll select Google Calendar to establish the connection between Traft and my Google account. Upon completion, I'll be redirected back to Traft, where additional options become available. Sync with drop-down. 
Under this drop-down, I can choose the calendar where all scheduled appointments from Traft will be added. Note that only one account can be selected here. Block time from calendars. In this section, I can designate a calendar from which busy time slots will be blocked off in Traft. Add calendar option. This feature enables me to add a maximum of six accounts. For instance, if I maintain both a business calendar and a personal calendar, I can add both here. Consequently, time slots marked as busy in both calendars will be unavailable in Traft. So now you know everything about Traft's integration with Google Calendar. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more.